Hey, this is Nancy Joy. I'm back with Weekly Reflections, and uh, I am so much better <laughs> than two weeks ago. My last blog was called Surfacing, and I was really diving down deep into very uncomfortable feelings and finding the comfort there, as I shared with you uh, we had an upcoming court date on October 11th. I'll share a little more with you on that. But uh, tonight, uh, this is I'm recording Saturday evening, but at 12:23 uh, a.m. early morning, coming up here in New York time in Eastern Standard Time, is the uh, full moon in Aries. Um, it's called a super full moon, and it's brought a lot. Uh, and I'll explain it to you, a lot of chaotic and shifting energy. If you haven't already felt it, boy, I sure have. I've been feeling it for uh, go, this is the second week, so it can continue onward, too. It's very, very powerful full moon we're experiencing. Um, but I just wanted to start out by sharing with you that I was able to shut my eternal chattering cheerleader down for a bit and allow the girl inside who didn't make the happiness squad uh, to truly step up to the plate and be heard, be understood, and loved. And it was certainly very a powerful time for me. I want to thank all of you who reached out. I got so many emails and responses on YouTube. And the reason is because a lot of us are experiencing this because of the shift, but also because of this super full moon. And by the way, you can look forward to another super full moon in November and another one in December. Um, so I'll share more about that. Uh, but I, I, what happened was me allowing myself to dive into my shadow, to love my shadow, to listen to my shadow, um, has now allowed me to dance with um, my, my true soul self and my shadow, the cheerleader and the shadow are both coming together in integration. And with every breath I take, it feels better and better. Um, but I couldn't get there without totally acknowledging that part of myself. I'm sure we all do this in phases. This one was a powerful piece of my step anyway. So this full moon in Aries uh, exactly conjuncts Eris. Eris is the planet that represents the goddess of chaos and change. Oh boy. Very, very powerful female energy, certainly not recessive. Aries itself is a fire sign. You know, Aries respond. They they do things. They get it done. They don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. So you've got that action piece. And it's also conjunct, not as directly, but Uranus. And Uranus is all about the rebel, setting yourselves free. So you can imagine these, the Aries, Eris, and Uranus. And you got Saturn and Pluto in the mix there, too. We won't go into too much detail, but if you haven't, aren't feeling it, uh, you probably will. I've been feeling it a lot, so I think it's integrating for me. Like I say, it's this very evening. By the time you read this, it may actually, the full moon may have passed. Um, but I, as I mentioned in my surfacing on October 3rd, I could no longer stuff my toxic emotions. I could no longer keep saying... I love it all and, you know, whatever arises, love that. I could say it, um, but it wasn't my truth. My truth was I needed to acknowledge what I was feeling. And, you know, it's so not necessary to figure out why you're feeling it. It's so not necessary. You know, a, a feeling you should just allow and swim in it and be in it. An emotion is attached to a story. It's your feelings in motion. And once you attach it to a story, it's got a hold on you, and it's going to jerk you around. So we're letting go of our stories as much as possible. Uh, and, and, you know, it really helped me to fall apart last week. It just helped me to sink in and fall apart and allow it to be. And in doing that, so much more has opened up. I can't wait to share with you what happened with our court date, but I want to finish this part up too, because um, the chaos, the craziness, the rebel, and Uranus, the fiery one who gets things done, uh, Aries rather, is, is just all come together now. And it's mirrored and reflected in how crazy and ridiculous this whole uh, U.S. election gets. It's always 
crazy, but this one surpasses itself, <laughs> in my opinion, with insanity. But it's for a good reason, because it's like Eris is sh she's shaking the whole world up. Everything is getting so chaotic. So the truth can arise, disclosure can arise. And in all this that's so confusing, it's important for you, your guides, they, they have different perspectives, you know. It's not all going to be the same. All the channelers aren't saying the exact same thing. All the uh, information out there on the Internet, there's a lot of things that conflict. And it's all great because it takes you inside yourself to find what feels right for you. And it doesn't matter whether it feels right for anyone else or not. And that's pretty exciting, right? So um, I find now that this has created like a palpable tension this week with the super uh, moon that actually has allowed me to be motivated to find that truth inside myself, to connect with source more fully and to allow my feelings, not my runaway emotions attached to my dramas, but my feelings to take me there to return me to love, as we've been saying. So you may find yourself in a conundrum of chaotic and uncomfortable events this past week, this coming week, and on either side of that, too. Um, but it's so good because it's taking you to catch the magic through your feelings of your own truth. So that's the message of this full moon in Aries for all of you. And trust me, it feels so good when it hits right? So that's the end of the reflections. Quick update if you're interested on my court thing. Um, it went great. Uh, they didn't want to go to court. So that was Tuesday. And all day Monday, the attorneys and we were negotiating a settlement. Um, they, they last minute, of course. But anyway, we pulled it out. The fence stays where it is. The easement stays where it is. And they paid for our attorney costs, and we didn't even have to go to court Tuesday. We don't have the written part of this, but I'm assured that it's on its way. Isn't that fantastic? After this whole thing since 2011, wow, takes my breath away. So it certainly served me to go down to that space and find my center. And uh, we didn't negotiate in anger. We negotiated in our, our own truth, what was truth for us. And so that's very exciting news. So I hope you all have a great week. I know it's a difficult aspect, this, this full moon. And so just think of what we've talked about last week in the surfacing reflection and this week so that you can move through that space with those feelings and connect to that source. Have a great week. We'll see you again next week. Take care of who you are. Bye-bye.